Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about IP version 6. We will try and understand why IP version 6 came into picture. How does it differ from version 4? What are the similarities? And then we'll also try to understand that how does it work in case of AWS. So we have divided this lecture into two videos. So in the first video, we'll try to understand things related to IP version 6. What are its characteristics, qualities, etc. And then in the second one, we will see a demo where we will try to set up a VPC along with the IP version 6. We will try to make use of egress only internet gateway and we will make the whole thing work. So please see both of these videos one after another and then you will be clear with the usage of IP version 6. Okay. All right, let's move forward. So first question is why IP version 6? Answer is simple guys. The IP version 4 which was getting used that got exhausted, right? What happens is it's, it's limited, right? And everybody wants, wants an IP address. So that is not actually sufficient. So that was the primary reason why, uh, you know, people moved to IP version 6. Now it is not fully functional yet. What I'm trying to say is uh, not all the networks are still using IP version 6, but then it is getting adopted. Many of the service providers have already started using IP version 6 and hence the standards are set. Now, the, the reason why IP version 4 was not able to fulfill all the needs was that the number of available addresses were less. So if you see on this screen, I have tried to explain it in a very simple manner. You would have seen the IP version 4. So IP address looks like, for example, 54.23.68.29, right? So there are four parts there. And basically each and every part is represented by eight bits. That's what I've shown here, eight bits. So there are four parts with eight bits each. So totally there are 32 bits, right? So the number of possible addresses would be two to the power 32. Okay. Because every bit can be zero or one. Now what has changed in case of uh, IP version six, in case of IP version six, every part is 16 bits first of all right and then there are eight such parts okay so if you see first second third fourth fifth six seven eight so there are totally eight parts and every part has got 16 bits so totally it becomes 16 into 8 which is 128 so ip version 6 is of 128 bit right which means if you try to calculate how many addresses would be possible, it would be two to the power 128, a very big number. I'm not calculating it, but you can go ahead and calculate if you want. But the, but the idea is that, I mean, it's a lot, right? So uh, it has been planned in such a manner that with all this increasing number of devices, the IP address requirement is increasing. You know, the every section of this where I said it is 16 bits here, it is not written in the form of decimal rather it is written in the form of hexadecimal so we will see as we move forward example of ip version 6 as well whereas you know in case of ip version 4 we used to have decimal numbers right okay let's move forward so if you are uh, dealing with any dns uh, type of service it could be route 53 or any other dns service the corresponding records which you create are A records and quad A records. So, uh, for example, if you want to, if you want to write that a particular domain like www.knowledgeindia.in resolves to a particular IP version 4 uh, IP address, then you will use A record. If you want to put a record where this domain resolves to an IP version 6, then you will be using quad A record or 4 times A. If you see 32 into 4 is actually 128 
that's also something to, to remember or relate all right now what are the similarities some of the things remain same uh, the cidr notation kind of works in the same manner okay as it is there in the ip version 4 the calculation or the way it is cal uh, it, the way it works that part is same of course the values which will come after slash that would differ but the but the way of calculation is same when you actually give rules in the security group the protocols are same tcp udp icmp of course your source and target you will have to change accordingly but protocol and the port those two things remain the same all right next is let's talk about differences we would like to see that how does an ip address of version 6 looks like let us see that so there are there are many calculators that go ahead and make use of them now let us go ahead and uh, try to use one such calculator uh, there are many i'm not recommending anyone so here is one uh, let's try to go for ipv4 converter first in this uh, let me try to write some ip address for example if we have an ip address like so if you try to convert this this would be the ip address in the form of version 6 now there is something if you try to see this closely let me increase this a bit if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 totally 8 parts are there in this and within this in the starting five parts if you actually see it's everything zero only in the last three parts you've got values right and every section or every part here is represented in hexadecimal as i told you now this is the long way of writing it there is a shorter way of writing it as well because of course ip version 6 is getting adopted now so what happens is many of the times in the ip addresses you will have continuous zeros so the the method which is adopted is wherever there are continuous zeros you can replace it with double colons right so you can do that now important thing what's the difference if we are using ip version 4 and if we are using ip version 6 so first of all with ip version 6 there is no concept of public and private ip all ip addresses are of the same type let's let's understand this if you have seen uh, our video of uh, vpc uh, on our channel you would understand that how to create public subnet private subnet how to set up nat gateway etc right now think of a scenario if you have a vpc you can go ahead and uh, basically for your vpc you can allocate the private ip address of your choice right let's say you are allocating 10.0.0.0/26 for an example so you can go ahead and create a vpc in the same way i am somebody else and i go ahead and i can create a vpc of the same ip address 10.0.0.0/26 right so both of these are there you are working independently i am working independently it's fine but in case we have to do peering between our vpcs then we get into problem right so it happens because uh, the concept of private ip is great because it kind of isolates you from external world and you actually maintain and run a small network of your own where you can just put whatever ip address you want right you don't care uh, whether somebody else in the world is also using that ip address so that was the concept of ip version 4 now in case of ip version 6 it changes there's no concept of concept of public ip and private ip right there is only one type of ip right and the ips are so many in number as we saw earlier so so you don't have to worry about uh, running out of ip addresses you so everybody will have the same type of ip address that's first point now if everybody has got same type of ip address then the next uh, you know worry would be that isn't it that everybody would be exposed to to internet or to or isn't it that every device or every server would be open to internet no that won't be the case we do have mechanism which we can use uh, so that from internet or from an external device traffic would not go to certain devices and i will show you how to do that in the demo right so 
the behavior which we are talking here is is the is the behavior of private subnet earlier what was happening we were keeping the, our instances in private subnet we were not giving it any public ip and we were using nat gateway the work of nat gateway was that if these private instances want to send some traffic out to internet they, it would be able to send it via nat gateway but somebody from internet cannot reach to our private instances via nat gateway right so basically if you try to visualize what nat gateway does is it only allows traffic in one direction right of course it will allow the return traffic to come but if you think from origination perspective the traffic which is which is egress type or which is outbound type only that type of traffic it allows right the same thing is done using egress only internet gateway if you are using ip version 6 right so i'll explain you how does it work uh, in the in the demo in, in our in our next video now if you have doubts related to public ip private ip nat gateway or if you are confused between nat gateway and elb the concept between those i have short videos on this explaining it very properly please go ahead and look at those videos right so what are we saying here security should rely on firewalls not hiding so we don't have to like make public ip private ip like that rather we will keep the concept of firewall so egress only internet gateway kind of works that way as the name says egress only it will only allow traffic to go out from there it will not allow traffic to come in right okay everything should be globally reachable so the the idea with this is if you if you enable directly one particular device or one particular server can talk to another server across the world because both of them have got the same type of ip address all right why not nat ipv6 we have because of course we have got plenty of ip addresses and uh, we, we discussed this already so we are the point is not about hiding it in a in a private network it's about just cutting out that traffic will not be able to come inside that's what we achieve via egress only internet gateway all right now here is a question some of you might be knowing this already but in case you don't know try to think about this you have one server which has got only ip version 4 another server which has got only ip version 6 whether these two can talk to each other can they access each other if you want pause the video for a few seconds and try to think and answer well the answer is no they'll not be able to talk to each other you have to understand an ipv4 will be able to talk to an ipv4 an ip version 6 will be able to talk to an ip version 6 okay now you might have some doubts right this is the time of transition when uh, some of the organizations have already adopted ipv6 some of them have not started using ipv6 some of them are somewhere in midway so of course they are supporting both because there are so many users who are there on IP version 4 so people cannot just stop supporting it immediately so there are organizations which are using both so next what we'll try to understand in few slides is uh, you know different scenarios about the about what I talk now and how does it work so here is here is an example where there is a user this user has got only IP version 4 on his laptop and he's trying to access a website let's say amazon.com Amazon.com for now let's consider supports only IP version 4 it doesn't use IP version 6 if that is the case it you know sends its query to DNS gets a a record uh, you know with the help of a record it gets to know what is the IP address which is a IP version 4 and then it is able to go to that particular machine and able to access Amazon.com right now also please understand uh, ec2 instances have already started supporting ip version 6 many of you would be knowing it already so what what happens is if you go ahead and log into your uh, go ahead and log into your ec2 instance and run let's say if it is linux you run if config you will get the details as it is shown now and in this if you will see the 
this line inet addr will give you the this is the private ip address version 4 and the second one this is the inet 6 this is the ip version 6 but please see you'll have to see the one where it is written scope global not this one where it is written scope link okay so this is your uh, this is your ip address version 6 you will also be able to see the same value in management console as well if you go ahead and select your instance in the details you'll be able to see this ip address okay now another important thing is certain instance types do not support ip version 6 at least by default they do not support we might have to do an additional step to give an ip address to such instances uh, while i'm doing the demo i will show you how can we do that so please see that carefully right and also i would suggest after watching it you please go ahead and um, try to do it on your own so that you become confident okay all right let's move forward now next scenario so we already saw a scenario where the website was supporting only ip version 4 now here is another scenario let's say there is a website called netflix.com now netflix.com for our understanding let's say supports both ip version 6 and ip version 4 but the user i am the person and i am trying to access i have uh, my laptop or my network provider is, is is supporting only ip version 4 so in that case it's simple i'll query the dns server i'll get the result as ip version 4 and i will go and connect via ip version 4 to netflix.com now there can be next scenario where the user which is me i have got dual stack so in my laptop let's say ip version 4 and ip version 6 both are supported it could be my laptop or my mobile all the latest cell phones are supporting ip version 6 right so if that is the case what happens is i will query and i would be able to get the a record and quad a record both but now the point is which one would i choose right I, I i can go both the ways in this case but which one i will choose that is dependent on the client right and most of the times if both are available the the way things are done the client chooses to go via ipv6 okay so if, if both are available most of the times it goes via ipv6 now there are of course uh, benefits uh, of ipv6 which we already talked but these are few things which you need to know uh, you know from ip version 6 perspective we saw a sample of it as well and we understood concept wise what egress only internet gateway is in the next video we will see a complete demo of whatever we talked so please watch the next video and learn it completely see you guys bye bye